Hello, you are welcome to my channel, The One Movie. Today we are going to learn how to add a scrolling test in different colors to your live streaming on either Facebook or any streaming service, YouTube, and you can count of them. Adding a scrolling test is not as much difficult as adding them in different colors. So today we are going to learn how you can do so using Streamlabs OBS. Um, this is what we are talking about. You could see here that we have this video praying. It was streamed live and you could see a scrolling test below. And this scrolling test is in black. And now you could see another test in the pink color that upcoming in pink color good adding one color as a scrolling test is as easier as anyone can do using any streaming um, software but when you are using streamlab obs and other softwares adding colors this black and pink at the same time is very very difficult and that is what we are going to learn today how to do this without wasting much of your time i will plead with you to subscribe to my youtube channel if you're new here and turn on the notification bell for a notification on any of our subsequent or later uploads thank you very much here you can see with my monitor we have the HTML file here. And this HTML file is a scrolling test. And that is what we are going to add. So we are going to teach you first how you can get this HTML test and how you can make it scroll in different colors using Streamlabs OBS. Good. So let's see what is in this, um, I mean, Let's open this with our test editor or notepad. Let's open this with our notepad. Good. When you open this with our notepad, you could see that the test has been marked. That is, there is a code. So, marked meaning that a scrolling test or anything you you marked it will scroll. I I know you are, you don't maybe you don't know much about coding. Just as I do, I don't know much about coding but this video we are going to break things down and make it so simple that even if you know nothing about coding you can apply this in your live streaming good so um when you open this test you could see marked background color equals to white which is fff and scrolling amount the speed is two and you can you can increase it at any time you want and span star equals so and so large and uh, here is where the test begin and you could see space space you can see space 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 that good so you could see the scrolling speed here this is the speed of the scroll which is two you can increase it to five any amount you want let's move so you could see here this is the test that is please watch and subscribe and it's it's a long thing and here it will confuse you if you don't know much about um coding so you know what we're gonna do we are going to copy this test and make it so simple for you so let's copy all this test highlight all and copy so now i have copied all the tests to my clipboard let's open our browser now we have opened our browser we are going to brogger.com brogger opening a brogger account is as easier as anybody can do and if you don't know how to create a brogger website you can learn from above there there will be a card which will be added to this video on how you can create a brogger website it's as simple just enter if you are new and you don't have a brogger website and you have gmail account just enter brogger.com and it will guide you on how to create it as simple just three simple steps so open brogger.com
So if you already have a, a blogger account a, or a blogger website, it will take you to your blogger website just like this. Then here, what you're going to do is to create an, a new post, a new post. So let's come to new post. This is a trick, simple trick on how you can do this uh, to avoid the coding and other stuffs. Good. So now here we are. We have our blogger website open. Let's finish. Let's wait for the site to load. Good. So now we have it complete. When you are here at your blogger website, we have here which is the HTML portion, and we have we have HTML view and compose view. So you can write if you want to write normal text, you come to the compose view. But if you have any code, you paste it here in the HTML view. So we are going to paste the code because what we just copied is a code, which is an HTML code. So we are going to paste it here. So this is the code that we just copied from our notepad. And this code will be in the description of this video. So all you need to do is to open this blogger paste the code then after pasting the code come to this um, views and select compose view after selecting compose view you could see that now you can clearly see the test the real test now it says please watch share like and like this page upcoming page that is our other page so if you haven't follow us you can follow and subscribe to that youtube channel as well good and so, so and so and so so all you need to do is simply by changing this test you can write and change all these tests as you want mm -hmm. so if you want to change it to your own one just change them but you must be very careful because now you are not on the html view that is why we brought this that is why we brought this emoji and this emoji here to guide you not to tamper with the codes so if you want to delete this emoji put the kaiser right after the emoji and you delete it boom like this don't hit anything again then if you want to delete the ones this one too put the kaiser right after it and hit boom then you can change any test here change them and uh, you write your own words in any color you want. You see here, you can write anything. And uh, it's like you're using Word or SL. Uh, Word, yes, Microsoft Word. So you can change the colors. You can here, you come and you change the color, let's say maybe to any color you want. Something like, mm, let's say I want green. You can change it to green, good. So you can change it. And change the words to anything you want. Let's say instead of writing upcoming page, let's say use one movie here. So we are going to type the one movie, the one movie here. And uh, you can, I mean, virtually change everything here. Good. So after changing everything here, good. So let's say one, the one movie. one movie so we are done good so we are done if you are done changing it to what you want to scroll below your live stream what you need to do is to come back here again and click on the compose view then you go to the HTML view now you could see that when you come to the HTML view make sure that the beginning of these tests is marquee that is marquee then the ending in Close that is Makiu. That is Ma it must be Makiu first and ma close Makiu at the end. Good. So, what you need to do is to highlight all and copy. So, now we've copied all this test. We are not going to post, we are not going to share. All we need to do with this blogger um, editor is to edit our test, making it so simple that you. You need not to deal with any course. All you need to do is to come to the views part and you edit it. So now we are done with this. Come back to your come back to your test editor. Let's come to our test editor or our notepad. Let's copy. Let's highlight this all and replace this. So paste. 
So we have paste the one that we just copied from our um, this thing um, from um, Broga website. Now here is what is very very important. We are going to save this and add it to our live stream. So what you are not what you're gonna do is to come to files. You could see files on your notepad. Click on the files. You could see files, edit, format, view, and help. Click on the files. And uh, click on files. Then you see a pop-up. Then you come to save ax. Save ax. Or you can use control shift X. That is save ax. So save ax. And uh, save as. Then you choose as a file name. File name. Please listen and listen attentively. File name. So I'm going to use the one movie. The one movie dot. This is the important thing. If you miss this dot, H T M L. If you miss this, then it won't work. So dot H T M L. Then you come to save as type. That is right below it. Then you choose the file type, not test. Choose all files. All files. Then you save it. Good. So now we have this saved to our computer. And we are going to move straight to Streamlabs and learn how to import this. So let's move to um, our um, computer. This is where it has been saved. You could see, you could see it here. You could see this here. Good. If you you can open it using any browser, and you could see it will open in a browser, and the scrolling will start coming. As you can see, the color we chose that was green for the first letters. That is please wait. You could see you could see it scrolling. Good. Good. So this is how it's going to be in the Streamlab OBS. So let's move straight to Streamlabs. OBS, as you can see right above me, how the thing is scrolling. That is exactly what is going to do in Streamlabs OBS. So now let's move straight to Streamlabs OBS and see how we can add this HTML file to our Streamlabs OBS. So please now let's open our Streamlabs OBS. I have it already open. Good. So here is where we are going to add our scrolling test. So I have um, lots of scenes created. I have camera and monitor, camera and example videos. Good. And uh, let's say, let's add it to this camera scene. So let's come to the source and add this test, uh, scrolling test here. So let's move straight to add button this plus button and click instead of adding a test don't add rather browser source so click on browser source and uh, here come to this place and say add source good you can name your source anything you want let's say scrolling test or anything so let me leave it as it is so i'll click add source good so you could see the default one the the default url will be the streamlabs website so what we're gonna do is we are not going to paste any url but we are going to import from our local host which is from our computer so what we need to do is to check this button or this box which says local file great the moment you click on this local file it will give you a browse this thing to browse through your computer so click on the browse good so now here you move to where you have saved this file so we save it as the one movie dot html but the dot html will not appear so click on documents and find exactly where we store it so you could see this is the file this is the file so you click on it and you open this file 
open good so now we have this file added as a source click done you can adjust the height and weight here you can use um one two eighty as to seven twenty so you can use one two eight zero as to seven twenty to make everything fit to the screen good so or you can make a manual adjustment or you can yeah i can do manual adjustment or you can use the default one so let me use the default one let's move straight not to waste time so you can see right below right above me the test is scrolling there so you can use these buttons to i mean adjust it then you pull let me lock other scenes so that i don't pull other scenes let me lock all the scenes leaving this one good so now i can pull it down 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 and you can make it as big it as you want you can make it as big as you want as big as you want good so now you can see this scrolling test and you can put it right beneath you yes you can use good down 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 and now we have our scrolling test just right below me in different colors in pink in the in black in green and in any color so if you want to learn how to add a scrolling test and once you have this added to your um, scene and you lock it you can add to you can add this to all your sources or all the scenes so let's move to the other source other scenes and add it if you want to add this same thing without any change you click on the source and you, you right click then you copy reference uh, you copy you copy it then you move to a different um source a different scene sorry let's say camera and monitor scene then you you click on anything and you click you right click then you paste reference so now you see now it has been added to this scene as well and you will see the scrolling test coming moving right below me good so or oh, and you can add you can add it again here also and you click on anything and uh, right click again then the, you paste reference and uh, you could see the test scrolling just right below me so please i know you find this very useful and it will help you to make your viewers know any portion of the streaming and um, the scrolling test if a contact you give it different color if social media platforms let's say facebook you customize it to suit the color you want you can customize any particular phrase or word to suit what you want making it clearly identifiable by your viewers thank you for watching and now you can see we have our test added god bless you for watching if you are new here please i beg of you to subscribe click on that red button which says subscribe and after that a bell will pop up click on that bell so that when we post new videos you will get notifications from us so that you can always be the first to watch we used to also come along your way with giveaways like nefres account virtual visa cards to buy things online so not only tutorials but also things that will benefit you because the more you watch the more you recommend people to come on board the more you share the more we also get something and share with you thank you very much for watching and i say until next time peace